Hey, everybody. Okay, so Montreal hosted the New York Rangers tonight, and in typical Habs fashion, they gave up four goals to the Rangers in the third period and blew a two-goal lead and lost the game. And um, I'll tell you all about it. I'll tell you who scored, how they scored. I'll give you some stats for the game and my three stars of this game, and that's all right here at Talkin' Habs, the home of Habs hockey, where everything is dedicated to the Habs and all things hockey. And if you were a Habs fan and you want to see daily videos uh, about the Canadians, um, just uh, subscribe, ring the notifications bell, which is down there. And that'll uh, get you your daily fix of Blue Blanc Rouge right here at Talkin' Habs. While you're on the way down there to do that, give a thumbs up if you like the video. And please leave any comments you may have about the game, about how they lost, anything you want in the comment section below. And... Um, yeah, do that, and I read all my comments, so again, I'll answer them back, um, I guess, right? Okay, so uh, Montreal uh, played host to the Rangers, so two things. First one is, can we stop talking now that they're going to make the playoffs? I think we should now. They're not going to make the playoffs. Um, they can't hold a lead. They Second thing, um, I got the score right, and it, the only reason I'm bringing that up because I didn't. I got the score right, not the goal scorer, but I, I must be psychic. Uh, if you watch my preview video um, when I gave my score, my prediction for the game, I said I I wrote it out, and I always write game prediction, and then I write the prediction when I think about it for you know whatever amount of time, and uh, tonight it was just. I wrote game prediction, 5-2 five, uh, five um, Rangers. And I did that without thinking, and uh, that's how the score was. So I'm psychic, so I just wanted to point that out to everybody. Okay, game started out really good. First of all, 13 seconds in, Petrie gets a uh, puck over to glass penalty. They kill it off, which maybe I, we thought would set the tone for the game. A very early penalty against, and they kill it off, and things are looking good. 3-12 into the period, Domi scores on a pass through the crease. Uh, I think it was to Tatar, but it goes off Adam Fox's skate and right into the net. So Domi 16 from Petrie and Tatar, and uh, it's one nothing Montreal. Uh, and I right here, Domi is flying and making plays. In, in the first period, he is flying around. He's making passing plays, and he's looking great. Um, so the uh, period ends that way, 13-9 in shots for Montreal. Two power plays for Montreal, one for New York, no goals here. Uh, second period comes around. And it's a lot of action, a lot of back and forth. Um, I didn't write anything except the uh, the one goal. Um, I, like all of a sudden, boom, great play. Galley skating hard through the neutral zone. And he finds Tatar just as he's crossing the line. And it brings him free for a breakaway. And Tatar is fantastic. Goes straight at the net and dangles dang, you know, dangles the puck. And just he put he dekes him out and he throws it in on a backhand. Just a beautiful play. If you haven't watched, if you didn't watch the game, go to YouTube, check out that play. That was beautiful. Tatar's 22nd from Galley and Deneau, and it's 2-0 Montreal. And things are looking good, except by before I could finish writing all that. Uh, Di Giuseppe scores on a passing play off the rush. That's what I wrote. Di Giuseppe gets his first goal from Fox and Lindgren. It's kind. There's a passing play like it, they. I think they stole the puck somehow. Oh, an intercepted the puck and rushed up. So it's a. It's on the rush, and a little passing play between each other. And Di Giuseppe puts it in. So it's another goal with less than two minutes to go. And uh, right here, is this when New York takes over the game? Because I've seen this happen before with Montreal and New York, and it looks like it's happening again. Uh, just don't, just, like I got this feeling for the, the score of the game. That's how I feel that Montreal, uh, the Rangers are going to take over this game. Now, in the third period, um, I hadn't eaten supper yet, so I went to the kitchen. I swear, I took like three minutes, felt like. And I missed two goals. Um, I'll tell you what happened. I can tell you the goals. I don't know how it occurred. At 11.06, Zabinajad gets his 30th from Panarin and Goche. 
at 12:21. That's to tie it up, by the way. At 12:21, Fox gets his seventh from Lindgren and Strom, and they go ahead three to two. And at this point, I'm back. I must have missed it by uh, I think a minute. Of uh, anyways, I'm back. I sit down. Tatar. Uh, someone gets a penalty. I think it was Tatar. Um, and just as it expires, like just before it expires, so it's still a power play goal because the penalty came at 13:23, and the goal comes at 15:23. So it must have just like uh, points of seconds on the clock to make it a power play goal. Strom tips D'Angelo's shot into the net for a 17th from so it's Strom from D'Angelo and Panarin. And it's four to two. And at that point, there is four and a half minutes left. And um, Montreal didn't give any indication that they're going to be able to score two goals. They pull the goalie with two and a half minutes left. And um, Strom, I think it's Strom, fires a puck down the ice that uh, Weber tries to corral. And in doing that, he reaches out to get it. And it kind of just pushes it over a little bit, which makes it go right into the net. Uh, and he does this in the other zone. So he's in the uh, New York zone when he kind of tips it, and it goes all the way down right into the net. And it's 5-2. to two. Uh, I get the score right, and they lose the game. And it's very embarrassing as a Habs fan to see Montreal lose like this. Anyways, that last goal is uh, Strom's 18th from Stahl and Georgiev. Um, Montreal fell apart in the third. After another good start, another good first period, and they fell apart. Um, they had lots of good chances, and they just couldn't finish. It was not a good game after the first period. Um, I went on Twitter just to take a quick look before I, um, I did this video, and everybody is calling for Julian's head. Everybody. Um... I had said that I don't think Julian will get fired if he's going to get fired till the offseason. I still think that. But more than that, um, when I say if he gets fired, I think that he will get fired. Um, this team cannot seem to finish a game. They cannot seem to hold a lead anymore. At some point, that's the coaching. If it's not Julian's fault directly, it's his coaching staff. He's in charge of the staff. He's in charge. It's, it's his fault. Uh, I think the coaching staff's going to get a changeover in the offseason. And um, I don't know what else to say as far as if you are watching this game hoping that they are going to make the playoffs still. It's a very disappointing loss. If you're a Habs fan that always wants to see them win when they watch, that's me. It's a very disappointing loss. If you are a Habs fan that wants to see them get a great pick at the uh, at the entry draft, this was a good game because they lost and they're closer to that. So, what can you say? 34 shots on goal for Montreal, 35 for the Rangers, 50, 56% in the faceoff circle for Montreal. They were 0 for 3 on the power play, 1 for 3 on the power play for the Rangers. Their home power play just sucks. Three stars of the night. Third star, Thomas Tatar, had a great game, a goal, and an assist. Second star, Ryan Strom. Yes, not a Canadian. Um, he had two goals, or two a goal and two assists. No, two goals because he had the empty netter. So two goals, one assist. And uh, first star for me was Georgiev. Georgiev was, I don't know if you'd call him shaky in the first period because he wasn't shaky, but you didn't. he didn't exude confidence until... Maybe at the end of that period or to begin sometime in the second period, and he just took over the game. Uh, he wasn't letting anything past him. You could see it. You could see that that's how it's going to finish. They're going to get two goals. That's it. They better keep it to 2 1 or they ain't winning this game. And that's it. Next game is uh, Saturday versus Carolina at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, it's Saturday, so two things. The Guess the Score contest will be on. You guess the score and the goal score, you're going to win a prize. And, um, uh, yeah, it's Saturday night hockey talk. Um, so I'll be live streaming my pregame show probably at 530. 
Um, so look for that. I'll put that out early in the day and you'll see what time it is. Should be 530. So I hope to see you for that. If you like the video, give a thumbs up. And um, while you're on the way down there to do that, subscribe, ring the notifications bell. And that's going to get you your daily fix of Blue Blanc Rouge right here at Talking Habs. And I think that's totally it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Totally appreciate it. Um, it's too bad for the loss. But, hey, they're closer to um, a really good draft pick. So win one, lose one. It's a win-win, it's basically, either way. Um, but we can stop talking about the playoffs. They are not going to make the playoffs. This Habs team, right now, the way they are playing and can't hold the, can't hold the lead, uh, is not going to make the playoffs. That's it. Point for now. There's my hot take for the rest of the season, I guess. Um, okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out.